Hello guys, it's your boy Cairo here, Cairo's TV, showing you a Smackdown Live preview of August 23rd, 2016, taking place at the McGeegan Sun Arena at Uncasville Unc CT, I don't know where that is from, where to watch is on the USA Network or Sky Sports 5, I think. Okay, quick hits, what will two new championships for the new ever mean for Smackdown Live? Who's coming after Dean Ambrose's WWE World Title? AJ Styles addresses WWE Universe as fans wonder whether Cena has given up. Will Nikki Bella take over? The Usos just put American Alpha and the tag team division on notice, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, and there's five, three minutes till SmackDown Live starts. So I'm just gonna make a quick, quick video. Should be about four minutes. What will two new championships for the new era mean for SmackDown Live? So, I'm sure Danny Bryant announced that there would be tag team and women's championships for SmackDown Live. I think probably last nearly a month ago. So now, um, some said but there's no F5 Shane McMahon, so it's interesting to see how that goes. But yeah, so, um, Daniel Bryan is gonna announce the, <coughs> the women's and tag team championships for SmackDown Live, but I don't know how that will take place. This is what Daniel Bryan posted on Twitter. It's a new era for SmackDown Live and the new era needs new championships. Tonight at Shane McMahon and I will be will debut two new titles exclusive to SmackDown Live. <coughs> two. He was coming after Dean Ambrose's WWE World Championship. Um we saw at SummerSlam Dean Ambrose retained his WWE World title against a really, really good um Dolph Ziggler at SummerSlam. Dolph Ziggler fought really well. I'm just disappointed it took one dirty deeds to beat Ziggler. So he's next. It could possibly be a triple threat match at Backlash. Dean Ambrose versus um Dolph Ziggler versus Bray Wyatt. Or it could even be Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. <coughs> next, AJ Styles addresses WWE Universe as fans wonder whether Cena has given up. So I'm guessing this is an official segment. Um, where Styles is going to be cutting a promo on John Cena, talking about how he beat him at SummerSlam, how he kicked out of about four AAs, kicked out of a super AA, which was amazing. It was the match of the night, in my opinion. Really, really good match. And it'll be interesting to see what takes place between AJ Styles and John Cena. Will Nikki Bella take over? Yep. Um, we saw Nikki Bella return at SummerSlam as I'm sure we all know epic epic return and she will be on the Smackdown Live roster see what did I report her a few days ago on Carol's TV I said four days ago I said Smackdown Nikki Bella would be on Smackdown Live not Raw and and, and, and I was right guys that's why you should tune her for the best WWE news and rumors guys so yeah Nikki Bella will be on Smackdown Live and it's interesting to see what booking what matches will happen and I think she will be the first women's champion for Smackdown Live. <clears throat> Number five, the Usos just put American Alpha and the tag team division on notice. Um I don't know what this means, but apparently I've heard news and rumors that the Usos will be turning heel very soon because at SummerSlam in the kickoff show, after American Alpha did their finish show, I think Jay Uso tagged himself in which is that he'll tag it, tagged himself in, did the splash and picked up the victory um, for Usos and American Alpha and the Hype Bros. So apparently the Usos are turning you now, but I'm not sure, guys. But we'll see. We'll see what happens and what takes place. And plus, there's gonna, I think tag teams are going to have a big, big, big role on um, tonight's SmackDown Live since the tag team championships are being announced. Thanks for watching.